Hey, how's everybody doing? This is Gigi. Anyways, um, I just kind of want to give like a quick little um, take on how I think, um, on why I think that females um, go for the thugs or the bad guys. It's not necessarily that we want a guy to beat us or treat us dirty or, you know what I'm saying, yeah, I want somebody to smack me around. You look like the type. Come on. I want you. No, that's, that's not that's not what it is basically my opinion is I think it's more or like more the fact that these type of guys have a certain swagger about them and females are attracted to that to that kind of swagger it's kind of like um kind of like confidence like the guy has like a lot of confidence about himself the way he carries himself and he has like this power that shines like he's he's in control like I'm control I got my shit together ain't nobody can't nobody tell me nothing you know I'm doing my thing you know it's like this confidence about him and this um, respect that people give him maybe you know depending on you know how gangster he is or you know and uh, I just think kind of like that's what it is like if you look and at the celebrities okay think about celebrities okay T.I. Girls be like, oh, he is fine. I love me some T.I. Because he has a swagger. If you look at his swagger, the way he holds it, I mean, T I mean, T.I. is fine. <laughs> Let's not get that wrong. But it's also what makes him fine is his swag and how he, he uh, carries himself, how he kind of just, you know, ch you know what I mean? Talk to people and everything. Like a T.I. came up talking about some, hey, buddies, how are you guys doing? Ah, and still look like the same. He would not be considered as attractive. Okay. Hell no. He'd be corny. And females don't want corny. Um, another example is um, Lil Wayne. Now, everybody know Lil Wayne got a rat face. He is hideous. But females are attracted to his swagger. I'm not, I mean, like, aside from the money part, which is very attractive, um, they're attracted to that, uh, the swag, you know, that he has. And I'm just like, me, I'm not ill. But from my own personal experience, I'd have to say, um, like, this guy that I liked before um like it was about his swag and everything that I saw him and then how people treated him respected him somewhat feared him at that time <laughs> but I was young and dumb at that time um but it was just basically that whole aura about them that is like it's something attractive but um I don't know I guess mm. and I think that once they get the guy it's like okay now once they get him and then after they see how much they admired him and his swag. They know other females are going to be on him and everything else. So once they get this guy, you know what I mean? They're not going to let him go that easily. Knowing that he's a hot commodity. Knowing that females are going to want him. No matter how bad he is. He probably can run around and everything. But some females have that mentality like, oh, I'm the main chick and whatever. He don't want y'all hoes. Some people feel that way. <laughs> but my thing is, fellas, if you see girls like that, if you're a good guy. And you see a female that is attracted to, you know, the, the outside appearance and doesn't really look for she's kind of shallow and she kind of looks for the swag and everything like that then why is that even a female that you want to even associate yourself with don't look for that kind of female you're looking at the wrong females if you're looking for females who are looking for thugs like me for example I ain't looking for no thug okay um I admit when I was younger you know I did I kind of wanted the guy with the, the old school cars, you know, hooked up, whatever, with the baggy jeans, the hat like this. And I used to like that because I used to like this, that, 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 that look, that appeal. But now, since I'm older, more mature, um, I don't go for that kind of thing. Like, I look for the good guys. I look for the guys who are dressed nice, who, um, no baggy clothes. No, no, no skinny jeans. I don't like guys with skinny jeans. That's not cute. Like, that's just kind of feminine. But, you know, nice slacks or, oh, I love to see a man in a suit. A man in a suit is so sexy. Well, I mean, you just got to find those type of females that like you. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's, I think media and everything plays a big role in how females perceive men and why they go for that because of, you know, they see the hip-hop videos of rappers and everything, and they, and they like that. So they want a man that can portray that image, in my opinion. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. It's just, it's just real crazy, but as I gotten older, I have realized how to tell the difference between a bad guy and a good guy. And my way, like I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell y'all my little secret, okay? My way in how to um, identify a good guy and a bad guy is if, if, if 
if I am attracted to this guy, if I like him and I feel like there's a connection, and if I feel like this is a real connection, I like you. I think you might be the one. If I feel that way about a guy, then he's bad. He's a bad guy. He's really bad. Because for some reason, for some reason, I am attracted to bad guys. It's weird. It's like I get this attraction, and they be like the worst guy ever. They be married and gay. <laughs> they married and gay, trifling, disgusting liars. But they're good actors or something. Like, y'all motherfuckers should get an Oscar for the way y'all play. So I know if I'm attracted to you and if I like you, then I gotta walk away. Because you're not good for me. But if you actually like me and I don't like you back, <laughs> there's something about you that's just like, <laughs> I don't really like him. There's something about him I don't even like. Then you're a good guy. This is kind of weird. Hopefully that switches up a little bit in me. Because I might be single and lonely for the rest of my life if I keep acting like that. Okay, because I don't like thugs. I don't know. It's not. It's not even thugs. I just like get attracted to bad guys. Cause some guys are good at pretending. So that's. I don't know. That's a whole nother issue. I'm just kind of going off topic subject. But anyways, I just want to share my uh, my opinion. Um, that's basically what I can think of for now. I mean, there's probably more to it. So I would like to hear your opinions, ladies. Please tell us if you know if you kind of kind of agree or not. Like I want to hear what y'all think, and fellas, I also want to hear what y'all think because I also, I hear a lot of fellas asking that question, and so I kind of just want to know what everybody thinks and their perspective on why females like thugs. Cause I don't ever think it's, it's necessary to thug. I don't want a dude that's gonna beat me around or sell drugs and possibly get me caught up in the drug game and I go to jail, he go to jail. I don't like that. So it's something, it's something psychological in our brains. Anyways, so I just want to know your opinions or whatever. So, um, holler at me, you know what to do. Make some comments and, um, yeah, just tell me what you think. <laughs> Peace. That's about it. <laughs>